What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add custom code snippets into WordPress in an easy and safe method without breaking your site. So this is the video tutorial from a, tut from a reading tutorial present on visualmoodle.com blog website. Both here on YouTube and our blog it will bring daily posts for many topics like WordPress, SEO, tutorials, guides for plugins, themes, marketing, sales, and many more topics, okay? So if you prefer the written content, go to our blog. Before anything, please go to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with a friend of yours. Once we bring daily videos to our YouTube channel and it helps us a lot, you have no idea how much it helps us. So. Let's go to the tutorial and the good part, okay? Let's imagine the following scenario. You need to apply some custom code into your website and you don't know how to do this. For example, a custom code to create some special search, a custom code to create some special post type, a custom code to hide some part of your content, to customize your theme, or even a simple custom code, maybe to apply a Google tracking code for Google Analytics, for example. Some teams have a section for it, some teams have a shield team for this, whoever. In all of the cases, it may be a quite dangerous because if you apply the code in the wrong section, if you apply the code not properly formatted, it can break your site, you're gonna not be able to log in, you're gonna need to access your WordPress via file manager, delete some parts, so you can bring back the site to live, okay? So into this tutorial, we're gonna explain for beginners how to do this, okay? Here is one example. If you go to Appearance Team Editor, you can apply your PHP code function on here, okay? However, as told previously, it's a quite dangerous because if you do not apply this properly, you can break your site. And into this video, we're gonna learn a way to do this without breaking your site, okay? So in a safe method. So go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and into the top right corner, click on select, uh, type the code snippets, okay? We're gonna be using this plugin for this video tutorial. Once this, plug once this plugin has some good options and safe modes that does that prevent us to broke our sites okay and this is great for beginners so just go right here and type code code, code snippets okay so imagine that you are reading some tutorial and you find some function on php that you would like to apply to your site this is exactly what we're gonna do, okay? So type the plugin name. This one by Code Snippets Pro. Click on install now. After this, click on activate button. We're gonna be redirected to the WordPress plugins page where you can see a list of all the plugins present on your WordPress website. You can go to snippets, settings, or deactivate the plugin. And as soon as you do this, you're gonna see a new menu item into the left side of page options on your WordPress dashboard. Let's go to settings so we can explore the plugin settings. We have general settings, deactivate by default, the enable snip tags, the enable snip description, snippet list order, the disable shortcode, sign tags, and the complete uninstall in the case that you are going over with this plugin. Then we have another tab for description of edit editor. We have the raw hey page. We have the the useful editor and the media buttons. No needs for it, okay? Now we have the most important part that is the code editor. So here is how the code gonna looks like, but we can edit this part, okay? So we can enable or disable. This is one example of a very good option that you keep, need to keep enabled, but it's up to you. And let's change the theme. Here you can change the how your code gonna looks like, the style. 
the design. So, for example, this one for Darkula, for example. So, as you can see, it's a dark background. That normally is the ones that I prefer. I do like the dark background, okay? So, white text and dark background. So, this one, 3024, night mode. So, save change. We have a button to reset by default the plugin settings into the right side of our screen in the bottom but let's go to snippets and here is where the fun begins okay we have some snippets only for our pro users no needs to worry okay we're gonna keep all for free so no need to purchase the pro version of it anything yet and so we can start let's click on add new snippet First of all, we're gonna type our function. This is a function that works into some parts of our site, but not does not work into the new versions of WordPress. So this used to be a function to hide the WordPress current version, okay? And this is a simple function on PHP. We can both add PHP or HTML codes. Now we can choose how where to display this. We can run the snippet everywhere. We can only run in the administration area, run into site front end, or run only for me. The priority level, we can type the description and some tags, apply some tags to the snippet. Why this is important? Let's imagine that you are adding lots of snippets, lots of custom codes into your WordPress website. So we recommend that you apply description, that you tag so you can make your life easier in the case that you want to keep, maintain, edit this into the future, okay? So apply a title, apply your code, it can be HTML or function, in my case this is a PHP function, okay? Choose where to display this, I'm gonna run this everywhere, apply a description and use some tags, okay? After this, click into the save. And our code is already running into our WordPress website. If I was into some previous version of WordPress, this code would work, but after WordPress 6, this does not longer any work. Does not work, okay? Any longer, but it's a good example, okay? This code is properly formatted, it's good, it's properly closed, it's properly called, whoever. Let's imagine the following scenario, okay? We did make a mistake and for some reason, we did use this, we repeated the line three two times, okay? Let's imagine what would happen. For example, if you are on your team editor, on Shield team editor, for example, Let's imagine that you do this simple thing. You just repeated this. Save change. Have a look in what happens. Don't panic. The code snippet you are trying to save produced a photo error on line 73. The previous version of the snippet is unchanged. The rest of the site should be functioning normally as before. So the plugin just saved our site. If I was into without using the plugin or using something else, the simple repeated part on line 3 and line 4 would broke your site up. So would make the site being brings down with a fatal error message displaying and not able to load the front end or back end of your site. So this is how good this plugin is and this is why I like this plugin because it prevents us from doing mistakes, okay? And this is why we recommend this plugin for beginners. You need to be very safe of the function that you are adding to your WordPress website to prevent issues like this one. And if you are not safe and you think the code may be have some errors, apply this into this plugin. The plugin will not break your site, they will save you, okay? So, I hope you guys like this part, okay? If you, after doing your code, applying description and making this work, you can easily switch the, the snippets, okay? You can turn them on or off. 
on the snippets page just right here as you can see the snippet that we did created remove wp version it's set as on but you can simply switch to set on or off no need to delete to deactivate just go right here you can clone and export this function for another website in the case that you want once again in the case that you are in needs of a good wordpress or a wordpress team and a great wordpress plugin for free to start your site go to wordpress.org search for enzo wordpress team and borderless wordpress plugin they works great and the pro version comes with these amazing templates that are pre-built websites okay but even on the free version this is the best free wordpress team on the planet in addition review our blog on visualmoto.com we bring tutorials for this as well every single day okay so in addition, go to our channel. If you find this content useful, please share it with a friend of yours, share it with your family, leave a comment into the section below. It helps us a lot. You have no idea. I'm gonna leave some links into the description below and into the first comment of this video for very useful sources. For example, a place where you can download design assets for free or a place where you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents. So review those links. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And I see you tomorrow. All the best.